Now in this video, another one on the road to proving Pythagoras, I'm going to prove that the angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So looking at a triangle like this one here, how do you prove that? Well, let's take this triangle and start copying it. You take it once, copy it, put it there, copy it again, put it there, get something like this. Now, as you can see, the triangles can be used to fill the plane quite easily. You can keep copying them. This point here is exactly this distance away from that point here, but it's also a copy of the same point in this triangle, and so on and so forth. So now, let's give the angles in the triangle, we just use one of them, and give them names. As per our convention, we'll use Greek letters. So alpha, beta and gamma. How now can we prove that these add up to 180 degrees? Well, let's start drawing lines through them, through the triangles, like this. These red lines are just extensions of some of the lines on the triangle. And what I'm going to be concentrating on is this area here. Now firstly, as we saw in the previous video, if you have two crossing lines, like that, or in actual fact, like this one and this one here, then the opposite angles are identical. So in other words, that angle there is beta, just like this angle, because these lines cross in that point. What else can we find out? Well because this triangle is a copy of that triangle, that angle is alpha. And therefore, again, if you look at these two lines here, the opposite angle is identical, so that's alpha. Finally, we'll see that this here, these, this line is parallel with that line, And this angle here, gamma, is copied there, because it's a copy of that triangle, so that angle is gamma. But of course, this here, this line, is, and those, this line here is parallel with that line there, so that corner there is gamma as well. And then again, we use the fact that opposite corners are identical when two lines cross to prove that that corner is gamma. So now we've got all these angles here named. But if you look at all these angles they now occupy the whole area there so they represent a full circle which by convention is 360 degrees but the 360 degrees is made up by alpha plus gamma plus beta plus alpha plus gamma plus beta. So, well, if that's the case, then 2 times, because alpha plus alpha is 2 alpha, beta plus beta is 2 beta, and so on, 2 times alpha plus beta plus gamma is 360, and therefore, quite trivially, alpha plus beta plus gamma is 180. So these three angles add up to 180 and that's what we had to prove.